So now it is confirmed that run or leave is B sample is the same as his A sample, which means that they have found the two banned substances in his B sample. And the question we're all asking now is what happens now? How does he move forward and what will the verdict be? Welcome back to my channel everyone. It's your girl Dav here back again with another one. And right now I'm here to just tell you a little bit about the Ronald Levy story and give my opinions on it. I want to first start off by saying that I do believe athletes should be aware of what it is that they put within their systems uh they need to be careful be cautious of what it is that they drink what it is that they eat because the simplest of thing can get you in this predicament uh in in the case of ronald levy he was ill and he was trying to you know recover from whatever it is that he had and it's it just so happened that he had these two banned substances within his system you know in the time of him testing and giving up his, his sample uh the two banned substances are sulfoxide and sulfone and i don't know f for me personally speaking i i really do believe that this is just unfortunate for him uh because now he faces a hearing and the possibility of him getting a four-year ban and that one is really really tough it's a tough break because the man is only 31 years old and only goes so far in track and field because you know if you add four years to that he's 35 by 35 you're looking to retire and <laughs> with that said it, it it just means like is this man career over you know what happens for him uh, we saw in a similar case with, with Shelly and Fraser Price where you know she took something and she got a six months ban and, and really and truly I'm hoping for that same thing with Ronald Levy uh, because you know the man was ill what does he do in a case where he's ill you know and I'm really and truly just hoping that they can give him a reduced sanction and not pressure the man too hard uh if it is that he is to get the four-year ban you don't know he is he's missing out the olympics in paris in 2024 he'll be missing out uh 2025 and also 2027 my people that one is tough it's a tough tough cookie i really do wish him all the very best i i really hope his team can put together something really nice for for them to reduce the sanction because trust me man this one is a really tough cookie it's not like a christopher taylor where he's young and he has time to you know make up his ground to get back into shape for the champion for the championships leading up uh this one is is really hard um it hurts to the core especially because he got that bronze medal in tokyo and uh, you know he would have gotten injured after that uh tried to make a comeback it didn't really work out the way how he wanted it to work out uh he switched camps from mvp to elite and then to have this happen no trust me man it's, it's really hard track and field is is one of the toughest sports uh to to be within i mean i'm no track star but just watching what some of these athletes have gone through it it really and truly is tough it's a tough tough cookie like i said i really do hope that things work out for the the greater good for him hoping that he could get something less than maybe a six months or maybe a two year or a year something to that effect because you know if it is that he gets that four years what may i tell you is it's better him just wrap it up honestly speaking it, that's the best thing to do but let me know down below how you feel about this one my people do you think that this scenario is worthy of a four-year ban or do you think it is best to listen this one for him let me know down below how you feel about this one thanks again for watching big up yourself later magan